Okay, so this is intended to just be a quick demo of EVE Online's Cloak and Micro Warp Dive trick. It's a very, very like long-standing technique. It's been used in EVE for ages. Um, it does not really work super well in Nullsec because Nullsec can have bubbles, um, and I probably won't go into why that that's irrelevant here. That's something that you can look up on EVE University or something. This is mostly just to be a demonstration of Cloak Micro Warp Drive. The basics that you have to have is a Cloaking Device 2. There's just one module for Cloaking Device 2, so there's nothing really to mess up there as long as it is a 2. For a Micro Warp Drive, you need to make sure you have one that is appropriate for the size of your ship. 5 is for frigates and destroyers, 50 is for cruisers and battlecruisers, and 500 is for battleships. This trick doesn't work on orcas and it doesn't work on capitals. There simply is not enough thrust from the micro warp drive to get it up to speed in time. This right here is not a use of the cloak micro warp drive trick. Um, this is just me leaving a random spot in space. And although, as I said, I am in nullsec, unless we actually see a bubble, I won't really have a reason to explain to you why cloak micro warp drive won't defeat it. But I can still show you the trick in general. Okay, we're actually in an otherwise empty system. This is local, so we don't really have anyone to worry about. But it means there's no pressure, I suppose. We still have a fair amount on our gate cloak timer, 45 seconds. The basic order of the cloak micro warp drive trick. First, you're going to align to your destination. You can just click on the destination and then hit the A key to start aligning. Then you're going to act activate both the cloaking device and the micro warp drive. The micro warp drive will work for a single cycle. Then, when the cycle ends, turn off cloak and hit D to jump to the gate. Warp drive active. And that's it. That's the cloak micro warp drive. When we get to the next gate, I'll demonstrate it a few more times just so that you can see the sequence, but that's that's all there really is to it. Align, immediately cloak and activate the micro warp drive, and then when the micro warp drive is going to turn off after its first cycle because you are cloaked, drop the cloak and immediately warp. Use of hotkeys is really helpful. Align is just A. Your cloak and micro warp drive will be probably F1, F2, maybe F2, F3 if you are using something else in your first slot like I am, and then actually warping to the gate after you turn off the cloak is just D. You can remap pretty much all of those in EVE's settings. Now to see the trick again, And that's it. Just rinse and repeat through wherever you're going. For anyone who doesn't know, the cloak the whole point of the cloak and micro warp drive trick is to move through hostile space basically without getting killed. Normally, when you have just jumped into a system and you're getting ready to jump somewhere else, your ship spends a period of time aligning before you actually get into warp. During that period, other players can attempt to target lock your ship, and if they succeed, they can then attempt to activate a warp scrambler or warp disruptor on your ship. Either of those will prevent your ship from being able to warp and give them the opportunity to attack and destroy it. If you're in high security space, then generally that's uncommon because Concord will show up and blow up whoever attacked you, making their attack relatively expensive for them. It still happens sometimes, especially if you're carrying extremely valuable cargo, and the ship that they'll lose to steal the cargo is less valuable. It's mostly useful for low sec. In low sec, there is no punishment in the form of Concord for killing you. Players can pretty freely just target lock your ship, and then warp scramble or warp disrupt you, blow you up, and take the pieces. So that happens a lot. Cloak Micro Warp Drive is a way around that. While your ship is aligning, you're spending the time cloaked. You need the micro warp drive because without it, cloaking reduces your speed to 75%. In order to actually go from aligning to the target that you want to warp to, to actually being at warp, you have to be at 75% of your maximum speed. 
Whenever a micro warp drive or afterburner is activated, your maximum speed is increased by an appropriate amount. Afterburners double it, micro warp drives multiply it by six. So right now with this micro warp drive active, my max velocity is 3,427 3, meters per second. Without it, it's 512. That's a considerable improvement. If I activate the cloaking device, my maximum speed drops to 856. Without it, you'll notice my speed is now 128. Because I am cloaked and you cannot activate modules while cloaked, this micro warp drive cannot activate. If I try and click on it, I just get a message saying interference from the cloaking you're doing is preventing your systems from functioning at this time. And that will persist as long as the cloaking device is running. If I uncloak, I'll be able to activate it again. The way the mic cloak micro warp drive trick works is that you activate the cloak and the micro warp drive at essentially the same time. Eve generally functions in what, what are called server ticks. Every single second on the second, the server assesses what modules are active on each player's ships and then determines what's running and what's not. So in between you know, the first and second second when you're hitting these things, there's, there's some margin of error. You activate them both at the same time, and the game will assume you activated the micro warp drive when the cloak was not active, and it will let you run both. However, when the micro warp drive hits its second cycle, it turns off because it cannot reactivate due to being cloaked. If at that time you drop the cloak, then your velocity will take some time to adjust. As we could see when I was running the micro warp drive and the cloak at the same time, my max velocity was 856. If we drop the cloaking device, you can see that my max velocity without a cloaking device and without running the micro warp drive is 512. 856 is considerably more than 75% of 512, which means my ship will be able to enter warp instantly. It's already above the 75% threshold to be able to get into warp. So the point of the cloak, the way the cloak micro warp drive trick works is you align to the destination, which then uncloaks your ship from the gate camp timer or the gate camp cloak. Other people can try and target you, but by the time they might, you have activated your cloak in your micro warp drive. This gives you the period of a micro warp drive cycle, which is 10 seconds in which to finish aligning. Your ship has to get oriented in the right direction and it has to get up to speed, all of which it can do in that period. If your ship is too is not agile enough to get up to speed in that period, then you might run into problems. You might need to feed it, fit agility mods, but most of the time that will be sufficient for most ships. Then once you are up to speed on the micro at the warp, micro warp drives max speed, you turn both off, you hit warp immediately and by the time anyone can target you, because your cloak is now deactivated and you once again appear and can be targeted, you're already in warp and it's too late. 